Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to RimWorld. Uh, today, we are going to keep building up the colony. One of the things that I do want to do uh, before we move out is get or research uh, pemmican. I'd like to have pemmican researched. Uh, that is right here. That is a fairly easy one. So um, I would like to do some of the other ones, possibly smithing. Maybe, I don't know, should we get through? We have electricity. I'm thinking we should get through macroelectronics. Um, ooh, rare thrombos. How many, just the one? Do I want to? Um, we could kill it. I could also try to tame it. Let's try to tame it. All right, guys, thank you for hauling everything. I do appreciate it. Now, who is supposed to be our tamers? Uh, that's a good question. All. Taming. It's supposed to be Oreo. Oreo, are you set to one for taming? Handling one. Okay. So what are you up to? Gathering agave fruit to hauling inventory. So you're hauling. Oh, I guess I did set all of that to be hauled uh, on a high priority, didn't I? All right. All right, yeah, can you... Cannot mount animal needs obedience training. Right, I want to train it. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Let's set you to a two for now. Oops, I just want Oreo. There we go. All right, cool. So we're going to try to tame. I know it's a very, very low chance. 1.2. That's actually not terrible. I mean, it is terrible, but it's not terrible. What do we got for the cargo pods? We got chem fuel. Oh, cool. Uh, with that, we could actually make a chem fuel generator to power some lights. What's the first one we're working on? Geothermal? Nope. First is tree sowing, then mending, then geothermal. Okay. That's fine. So everybody's doing something. That's good. Eating, cutting, consuming. Oreo, you're eating a little bit late there, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know they're botching, but this is rice, and we already have over almost 300 rice. Now we have over 300 rice. Um, 200 agave, seven, almost 800 potatoes. Yeah, I can turn you off of sewing, or I can put you on something like cotton. Let's do that. Because you guys are all done, right? Yeah, okay. That was just to try to get us some... Ooh, a transport pod. What do we got? We got Clay. He's been stabbed and cracked. <laughs> uh, he is very good at artistic, halfway decent at social. He's a pyromaniac and incapable of... Why does that always go together? <laughs> why does pyromaniac and firefighting always go together? Um, anyway, if he breaks, he'll randomly go on firefighting binges um, space refugee so I don't need to worry about factions or anything like that because there is oh there is right here they're hostile huh well okay do we want this person what do you have you have hyperweave and plain leather uh, we would need to sacrifice a room for somebody So let's see here. Let's put Oreo in here for now and turn this one to a prisoner. And then Oreo, since you're up, would you be so kind as to come down here and capture Clay? Thank you very much. That'll be useful. How are we doing on wood? 448, okay. 
All right, who's our doctor? <laughs> Why do I never remember this stuff? Uh, it is Hunter. How are you doing on sleep? Not that much longer. Okay, so Clay can Clay can go for now. It'll be twenty hours. Mister Hunter's gonna eat, and you should prioritize. Yeah, awesome. Beautiful. And then we'll set him on recruit. It'll slowly reduce his resistance. And then we'll recruit him. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, uh, I can actually build, copy, delete. Same here. And one more. Okay, there we go. Just took Clay a minute to flip around, and I was a little bit concerned. Uh, now we can add in an end table. Are these all made out of marble? Yes, they are, okay. So let's make it out of, I don't have any marble. So that would be why that's happening. That's kind of annoying. But that's all right. Uh, let's see here. Your granite. Your sandstone. Up here we've got more steel. That's limestone. I was hoping that was marble. That's steel. 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 Wow. An awful lot of steel. And this is marble. Oh, that's marble. Cool. Okay. Uh, who's our best constructor? I know I can check it up top. Actually, you know what? We're going to check it up top. Best constructor is myself. All right. So let's get me up here to prioritize deconstructing the wall. And then, once I'm done, we can deconstruct all the ground. And do we still have that thrombo run, roaming around? Or did it leave? I Nope, it's still here. Awesome. All right, now we wait for me to be done. Well, those walls do not have very much. And then we can remove the floor. Let's, 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 let's actually remove the floor. There we go. Let you eat. Nope. Uh, I guess we're going to have fun doing this. All right, we're almost there. Don't worry. Just a couple more, because it's actually really, really fast that they do this. And that's going to get us a decent amount of marble. I think Drizzle could... Can you seriously not carry everything? Reserved by Hunter. Okay. So Hunter's coming up here to get those. Apparently, I can't put them in my inventory. They're too heavy. All right. One thing I'm going to do is cancel those so that I can get a copy of you in. Oh, and now that we have that in furniture, I should now be able to build a marble end table. I'll put one here, here, and here. And then... Uh, let's see here. We can unpause it while I work on this. Let's put a couple more rooms in here. And doors. There, there, and there. So let's actually build copy right there. We do the same thing for the wood walls. Nice. 
All right, friendly AI from your past named Charlton Weston sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on the planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is currently deep in hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the starship sequence completes. You can get to the ship off the ground. Charlton will take you off this rim world to the stars. So this is our end goal, is we are trying to get to this to get off the planet. That's why this one's going to be a uh, more of a, wow, we're what, way over here? Somewhere? I thought we were supposed to be the blue one. Okay, so we're here. And so if I go from here to here, how long is that going to take? 30 days. Well, that's not too bad. Make some pit stops along the way, meet some people. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. That's the uh, the current plan, anyway. You know, maybe I should make this hallway too wide. Eh. All right, come on, Jaws. We'll make a good one. There we go. So I forbid these just so that we don't use the uh, components just yet. Ah, it's poor, but it has a beauty of three. Okay. So this room is dirty. It's awful, impoverished, average size. Well, they're all very dirty. Of course they are. I mean, why wouldn't they be, right? Oh, awesome. Cool. There's some more rooms. Beautiful. Let's get some more beds in place. We'll get uh, some more of those in place. We'll get some more of these in place. There we go. Oh, I need another door. <laughs> well, we got a rat. I don't want any rats. Well, thank you, Mr. Rat. It's nice to have you join us. Uh, is... No, I think it wandered off. Darn it. Oh, nope, there it is. Now it's wandering off, though. All right, cool. Well, I guess I can put Oreo back on... Uh, Hall Plus as a one. And how are you doing? Are you healing? You are... And your resistance is being broken down as well. That's great. Now, for me, on my needs, do I finally have an awful bedroom? Or an impressive bedroom? No. Okay, so it needs to be a impressive bedroom. And it's currently awful. <laughs> great. That's just what we need. Oh, hey, look, we get chickens. Let me guess, a group of... Ch oh, my gosh. Soon we're going to have chickens running all over the place. Uh, what is this? Tameness. Click to sort by this column. So, obedience and release. The only thing that can be released is the terrier. Um, we have no rescue or haul. Do have some bonds though, no wool or milk progress. However, the chickens are gonna give us eggs. Um Wow, okay. Well let's come into the manager then, over into our livestock. I am going to add elephants to be tamed. Uh, I would like them to be oh nope, just trained for butcher. I would like them to haul, to be able to do everything. Uh, we're going to restrict them to the animal zone. And no drafted field work or master to follow. Five and five of each is fine. We're also going to do the same thing with rhinos. Which are trained, designated anywhere. Um, apparently they can only be trained and released, but that's okay. They're going to be our main... Uh, mainstay for haulers. And 
Yes, set master to following drafted. Manage. All right. Now, last but not least, um, our chickens. Sure. Ozzo designate to be trained is fine. Butcher Exodus trained. Training. What's the difference between haul and just train? Okay, let's not train them then. We're going to automatically restrict them. Uh, I do not know where I would like to mark for slaughter. I should probably make something for slaughter. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six roosters. So, one's going to get processed. Uh, and then we have four hens. And that was why I wanted to set that up. Was because it'll automatically keep our population at five. And we actually have enough food now to try to go tame the elephants and rhinos on the map. So I would like Oreo to do that if he can. Uh, who's going to do the managing first? Looks like it's going to be Oreo. All right. You know what? What do you have on twos, Oreo? Hunt. Let's move Hunt to three. Uh, we'll move all of your construction to three. Except for that. And we'll move mining to four. That way I can drop research down to two so that he'll manage first. Or play some chess. I guess that works too. <laughs> Come on, man. You're supposed to be managing our colony, not playing chess. All right, cool. Well, that works too. How are we doing? What do we drop down to? 8.2 to 9.1 for low mood. Well, I mean, it's going to go away once you're healed because you're still in pain. Unsightly environment, darkness, I can't do much about that. As for the beds, I'm currently working on it. So, those were all current as of 11 hours ago. No hunting has been done. Was it just forestry that got updated? It was just forestry that got up to oopsies. That got updated. And that's because we used a whole bunch of wood. Alright. It's fine. Hey, can I can I get you guys to haul these, please? So they don't rot. I mean they'll still rot, but they won't, you know, rot. Wow. One go, I love it. <laughs> that was beautiful. What do we drop down to now? 7.9? Well, that wasn't too bad. That was 1.2. Another transport pod. This time we got Tater. He's going to die in eight hours from scratches. He's in mind-chattering pain again with social... Melee and shooting. However, he's a psychopath. Okay. I actually wouldn't mind him um, because of the psychopath. So, if this still works the same, I can butcher human-like using him and only him to do it. Uh, the rest of the colony will get a negative six, but the normally the person who does that gets a negative um what do you call it that that was not what i wanted to thank you very much okay so you're down there where's oreo oreo's down there and not actually chopping yet okay so come capture tater for us um but yeah, as I was trying to say, normally what it would do if you butcher human-like is on the person who's doing the butcher butchering, you get a negative six per corpse. For the uh, person who's... For every other person, you just get the one negative six for the entire colony. Hey, what, what happened to you capturing this guy? Where is he? Um, did, did, did he die? Where, 
Where's his transport pod? Right here. Oh, he walked off the map. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's fine. We just had some stuff that rotted away, too. What was that? Um, show messages. Simple meal has rotted away. Yep. It's all right. All right, you know what I'm going to do for the animals? I am going to zone area, build roof area. We're going to put this out by, sure, six works. Uh, and I'm going to bring it all the way up to here. And then I'm going to unpause it. We're going to put a whole bunch of animal sleeping spots in here. Something like this. There we go. And we're going to remove that animal sleeping spot. So now they should all sleep out here. Which should be good. What are you guys doing now? Oh, plant cutting. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have any... Are we actually starting to get some of those taken care of? No. No. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I don't really care right now, Oreo. I need you to manage stuff. Okay. Did that do everything? Alright, it did hunting, it did forestry, and it did livestock. Perfect. And the rooster. Um, okay, I'm thinking that I should designate for slaughter. I think I should make a zone for that. Um, so let's see here. Let's make a new area. Rename. Animal slaughter. Uh, we'll put it... Oh, I don't know. Just right here. Maybe with access to this, which would also mean something like that. So they can eat. Uh, and then in here, restrict for slaughter to slaughter. And same with you. And here. That way at least it's nice and close to the base. Uh, I don't have to worry about hauling the corpse halfway across the map or anything like that. However, have we still... Ooh. An Aurora. Well, that's nice. Uh, do we still not have... Awesome. So you should be feeling better. Awful prison cell. Slept in the heat. Ate without table. Uh, who's our primary hauler? Everybody. Everybody's our primary hauler. So why is nothing... Oh, Right. All right, so I'm going to have to go through this at some point. Strip corpses will make a number one. All corpses are going to be a one. Uh, open containers are good. Refuel is definitely a one. Do cremation. Do bills at campfire. Take bar beer out of fermenting. Fill fermenting. Shift things in inventory and haul. Deliver to frame. Deliver to blueprints. Hall General. Merge. Okay, that's fine. So that'll hopefully they'll be they'll fill these back up a little bit faster now. That's the hope anyway. And I'm hoping that we get a raid of some sort before we go. Because this whole nothing is getting to be a little bit annoying. Um also, what is the restock for Kibble at? Apparently right around there. Uh, let's put this up by another 100. And let's put this up to 100. There we go. Uh, maybe one more. There. All right. So now we should make a lot of kibble. At some point. <laughs> Don't know exactly when. But that should increase our kibble pile so that we can actually feed everything. 
Oreo's out taming. I'm hauling in a rooster. I'm now refilling. Beautiful. And we're butchering. Cool. Did you get any of them? Wait, what are you... What's... What's the... What's the muffalo wool still doing? All right, I need to get the uh, chem fuel too. Because it's going to blow up at some point. Unless we get that hauled. Uh-oh. Is it just a single emu? How are you doing? Death in 10 hours. Run! <laughs> we'll pay we'll play ring around Druzzle if it makes it easier. Uh oh. This thing's smart. Come on, Druzzle, hit it. Thank you. Beautiful. Alright, so you're gathering chem fuel. Can you guys go do that for me? And then uh, one of you, I don't care which one it is. It's hopefully going to pick up the emu. Or maybe Oreo. I can get Oreo to do it. Ah, oh, that guy's still in a low mood. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Yeah, let's get some stuff built. I think one of the next things that I'm going to build is a freezer. Um, however, we're waiting on geothermal in order to do that. Are you making kibble? How much kibble does that make? Making four stacks of kibble. Made 200. Wow. And I'm hunting a rat. Awesome. Is that really all you can move is 75 at a time? Oh, man. <laughs> Hunters. Oh, he was hunting a gazelle. And apparently we got the gazelle. All right. So let's go in here. Let's make sure that allow rotten is turned off. And in here, let's make sure that allow fresh is turned off. So fresh is off. Rotten is off. Awesome. So for now, this is going to be kind of everything. Uh, I would like to eventually make this the freezer and add a huge addition on here for um, a stockpile. So that's the word I was looking for. Stockpile. Uh, now, can we... I don't have machining, do I? Is this the one that allows us to... I don't know. Is this the one that does it? Craft guns, grenades, flak, and disassemble dead mechanoids. Okay, no, that's not the one that I want. I want complex clothing. Oh, hey, look at that. We have it. So, if I come in here, we should be able to build a hand tailoring bench. Surprise. All right, let's get that built. Then we can start turning some of this leather that we have in here. Uh, into clothing or something anything really well those are fertilized chicken eggs uh can we not wait do you guys have a they do have a health bar okay that's fine nice we got a rhino and her name is persephone however we got a rhinoceros revenge uh you better run dude Madden, Manhunter, not Maddened, not Madden, not Madden. So it's just the one. Uh, okay, so come down here. Let's grab everybody and move them here. You better run, dude. Oh, he's so much faster. Oreo. No. I bet that hurts like a madman. Oh, Oreo's our... Ah. Uh, oh. All right, make some long-range shots. 
Better start moving. Try to make him go over things. Oh boy. Whoa, I didn't mean for it to go that fast. We'll actually set it on one. Better run, Druzzle. You're it for now. I believe you can get this guy, though. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Hunter. Death in four. Oreo. Death in 22. Okay. Yep. Yeah, come here. Rescue Hell Hunter. Put the game back on fast mode. Uh, what are you doing? Rescuing Oreo? No. Tend to Hunter. Oh, your leg's gone? Well, that's going to be annoying. All right, get the last rhino horn. There we go. Um, I need Druzzle. Druzzle. Yes, go get Oreo. And this, we actually... Yeah, let's haul it urgently. Same here. Uh, and then... Haul, haul. Actually, I should probably get this stuff, too. How about you? Death in 0.5 hours. Okay. Wait. Uh, what? His... I didn't know that you could walk around with a destroyed left leg. That's interesting. All right, what are you doing now? Consuming simple meal? No, no, I think you're going to tend to Oreo. At least until his, uh, bite is gone. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, let's unforbid this. Get it hauled in. When you're done there, can I get you to haul this? Please and thank you. And then Mr. Hunter, do I have any... Well, hello, Persephone. Uh, can I add... Like, a peg leg. No medical beds. Oh, right. That part. Um, let's make you medical. We need to... Oops. Who is our... Health? Ironically, it's Mr. Hunter. Followed by Oreo. Alright. Operations install peg leg, left leg. Since your left leg is destroyed. Thank you, Druzzle. That's going to give us a lot of meat. Okay, Oreo, are you able to get up yet? No, you're not. You're in a lot of pain, aren't you? Yeah, a lot of pain. Okay. Well, that's fine. How's Clay doing? He's doing all right. He's back to perfect health, so there's at least that. Um, Those are... How many... Really? I only have three herbal meds? Um, okay, can I come in here then and turn this to nothing? Now you're consuming a simple meal. So instead of tending, he's now consuming. Alright, so we got medicine and medicine. We have a lot of medicine. We just don't have a lot of herbal medicine. Okay. <sighs> yeah, both Hunter and Oreo, and Oreo is hungry. Okay. Oh, that, that, that's always something you have to worry about when you designate taming, is that they'll come after you and attack you. Oreo is still unable to get up. All right, what are you doing? Playing horseshoes. Okay. There we go. No longer starving. And 
just Hunter needs treatment. And it's just for scratches and cracks. And, or a crack and a bruise. All right. Oh, geez, we're going through kibble like it's nobody's business. Maybe I should save this. How long does this last for? Forever. Okay. Um, so let's cancel this and modify animal normal to not include anything inside. Uh, and then we also have to expand slaughter to include some of outside so that they can eat. Uh, and then I can clear the inside part. All right, cool. So that's that taken care of. Persephone should now go outside. All right, when you get back... And yes, I know that we're pretty much at time. Oh yeah, you can do that and then butcher. Wait, why are you using... Oh, that was the rhino. That freaked me out for a second. Wow, we got 200 and... Jeez, so much meat. I love it. All right, we should be able to... Yep. To make some more kibble. Uh, and I'm... I'm honestly waiting for Oreo to get back up, but I think we're going to have to leave it here. Uh... Because, why are you... Oh, because you're fertilized. Okay. Yeah, that's sure. That's fine. There we go. All right, what are you doing first? Equipping your plasteel knife. Can I get you to operate on Hunter after that? All right. Grabbing some medicine. Grabbing a piece of wood. Because apparently we don't have any in stock. Or we do. That one's just closer. <laughs> All right. Please work. Don't mess up. Oreo has failed in a minor way. We got another bruise. All right, Oreo. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So we'll have to try to install another peg leg. But yeah, I am going to end off today's episode here. I'm not going to try this again. We're going to wait. Um, we're going to wait until they're both fully healed. Uh, ooh, incapacitated refugee. Let's see here. It says there may be danger. She'll die in seven days. Where is she? She's up here, huh? All right. Well, that's going to take us 1.1 to get to. So we're going to probably go work on that next time. Uh, we'll be able to take at least our rhinoceros with us to carry some stuff. But yeah, I am going to end off today's episode here. I know it went over. Actually, it's almost 40 minutes. Wow. Uh, so yeah, definitely went over. And uh, next time, we're going to attempt to go get this incapacitated refugee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.